Okay, now we're out in the field and we're going to do a final assembly and go out and actually use this. So the first step you're going to want to do is plug in your 25 foot wired cord. This is what's going to send the spark to the device and ignite it while keeping you at a safe distance away. So we're going to, we've got a plug here at the end, it goes right in here and it firmly attaches, good and solid. Now we're going to hook our hoses up to the back of this and set our gas mixtures. All right, the next step is we're going to connect the gas hoses to the back of the R3, and we have some quick connect setups here. And they just push right on. There, firmly locked. Okay, we've got our oxygen mixture set where we want, but now we're going to set the propane or LPG. So what we're going to do is turn on our oxygen or our propane tank, and we're going to adjust the propane up. All right, the next step is we're going to do a test fire. You're going to let the gas run for a couple seconds and then fire it. And what you're listening for is a good sharp crack kind of explosion rather than seeing a lot of yellow flame coming out. The sharper the explosion, the more effective the concussion will be. Now we're going to put the R3 in, in the ground, run it, and show you some shots on some pocket gophers here. All right, we're going to start flowing our fuel into the tunnel system of the animal we're after. To do that, you're going to push down on the gas. And to hold this open, about two feet back on your electrical cord, there's going to be a colored piece of tape here. That's going to wedge underneath the gas valve to keep it open. It goes right in there. At the end of the amount of time you're putting the gas in the tunnel system, give the cord a tug. It will release it from there, stopping the gas. And then from a safe distance, you can ignite your fuel mixture.